Like so you did naughty. Up. You broke something. You, you did you a bad have thing. Broken. You should not have done that. That's all. Uh, 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 uh. Call a belly bend. So Can basically, you... they had a pipe and went. <laughs> the process bugging the pipe, which didn't help, and it was all rotted and corroded. And as we come down, so we've had it repaired here now. If you notice, however, so this is where things go a bit wrong in this whole process. So if we started off with the hammer and chisel that is currently on the floor over there. Do, do, do. And things were taken. We got to about here. Yeah, things were taken a manually. Large, rather long time. So our friendly neighbour appeared with some sort of electric jackhammer on the end of a drill. Brilliant. Until Gav decided to go all the way down, mm -hmm. get to this corner, and we thought, oh, let's, we'll take this corner out and that'll be it. What we didn't realise was there's a gas pipe in here, which I. Jack hammered through the wide gas pipe. We thought it was a cable. We thought there were two. See this white electrical cable in this. We thought this was another cable coming out here. This is actually a very small gas pipe. So yeah, we sheared it off. That was fun. Well, it is. So it came off with this chunk of concrete that came here, which I was holding up. Going, what's this pipe? At which jumps. Pointed out there was a rather large hissing noise of gas coming out of the pipe that's still gas, here. Gas, gas, gas! <laughs> so, yes, yeah, so it was a case of running to the cupboard, turn the gas off, and phone, who was it, Northern Gas Networks Northern to come out and uh, make the house safe. So, we now have no gas until we get a new boiler because they now need to reroute all of the gas so that this pipe is completely dead. Otherwise, we're going to have to dig. Mm. All of this up Hello. to find the pipe, which we really don't want to do. Don't want to do. However, having now had this part of the pipe replaced, this part, as you can see, is dry or drying. This is dried out which overnight. Is good, because it means that this is now fixed. However, mm. we appear to have found that this pipe has a leak in it. That corner joint there is leaking. So we soaked all this up. So this was dry about 10 minutes ago. So this explains why there was wet in the floor and also why happened this to be coming from. directly under the damp in the chimney breast. So the next thing we're going to need to do is get our friendly neighbourhood plumber to basically replace those corner joints back up to here where it's already been replaced. So we're almost going to have an entirely new set of heating system on this part of the ground floor. So yeah, so turn the water back off. We, really had, we thought we had to, water for like 24 hours. Yeah, we probably need to depressurise the radiator. I don't know how we did that, because I think you put the pressure back on the system. I remember how we did it. Should we go do it? Uh, okay. Um, yeah. So we twiddle that knob. There we go. This is draining. It's also draining under here. The it? radiator pressure. Mm. It's handy having the looter sit on with the bridle right in your face. Other 
<laughs> yeah. Oh, I don't like that. Doesn't want to focus on you there. Yeah. So when this stops running, there should be no more pressure in the radiators. I don't know why it's pointed back at the wall. It feels like a, a design flaw. And also there's no drain here. Never mind. Yeah, because now that we've found out that actually there is no drainage to the site. And it is a soak away. Which is joyous. Is it still coming out? Yep. Still going. Jibble, jibble, jibble. <laughs> Do I need to put open the bleed nipples from the radio? I just wanted to say nipple. You just wanted to say nipple? I've never heard it called a bleed nipple before. It's probably not. Bleed it's valve. Bleed, you just yeah. just like nips. Still going. I'll show you the uh, the what the gas company did as well. Oh yeah, we now have a very big sign that says danger. <laughs> <laughs> It feels a bit like getting a bad report from a teacher. Yeah. Like a so you did naughty, you broke something you, you, did you shouldn't a bad have thing. broken. You should not have done that. Here we go. Damaged gas pipe under the living room floor. What does that say? Full cap. Full, full drop capped. Apparently. Yeah. So basically they've capped it at the supply. So in here. We've also got a lovely yellow warning triangle on our gas supply. So they've capped off the entire mains. There we go. We have no gas. So I leave that there for when they come to put our gas back on. <laughs>